a project that requires cutting out 28 pieces and drilling a boatload of holes? That sounds like a CNC project to me. A quick search of the internet tells me that dominoes were developed around 1100 AD, a long time ago, but it's still popular today. We're making ours from stock that's a quarter inch thick, five inches wide, and 24 inches long, but it's going to require two pieces of stock to get the job done. Here are a couple of quick details. First, we've clamped an MDF backer board to the deck of the CNC. Second, this project only requires two bits, a V-bit to drill the holes and a quarter inch bit to cut out the tiles. I'm using the new HD5 CNC Shark machine from Next Wave Automation. It's got new sophisticated features like being able to route on a curved surface like for a chair rail. It's fast, it's easy to use, it's top flight machine. And even I can use it, so let's get started. Attach a backer board to the deck. I'm using 3 quarter MDF because I have some. I like to align it with the grooves in the aluminum deck. I've also found the center of my stock and I scribed a line down its length. I orient that board to the tabletop by using the edge of the MDF and then I screw the blank in place. The last pre-cutting step is to screw some location blocks in place. This project requires a minimum of two pieces of wood and I plan on making a few sets and these location blocks will make that easier. With the board in place and secure, our first cuts will be made with the V-bit. To make things easier for you, all the programming for this project is free to download from our website. The V-bit will engrave the slender lines between the two faces on each tile and will also drill all of the holes, and there are a lot of them. As you can see, I have painted this piece of stock black so the holes stand out in relief. Cool, huh? With the holes and the divider lines cut, now we're moving to the cutout stage. We're going to use a quarter inch down spiral finishing bit as it was recommended to us. Let's see how it goes. program leaves small tabs on each tile to keep them from flying loose during the cutting operation. So a bit of touch-up sanding is important, but it's quick and easy to do. So that's the basics of making dominoes on a CNC router. And we've got some ideas of making other styles of dominoes using that same CNC programming. So you saw how I painted some maple black and then drilled the holes and cut the scribe lines and it revealed out white from underneath. This time I'm going to use some dark wood. This is Wenge. I've applied a coat of lacquer to the surface. I taped it off and then I did all of my machining. Now I'm going to spray it with some white lacquer. I'm going to get it on there pretty good and hopefully when I peel the tape it will be bright white dots. If there's a little bleed, I'll take care of that later. Well that didn't work. After peeling back the tape and seeing that I hadn't got coverage in the holes the way I wanted it to, you know, not every experiment works out right, I chose to use these Rockler glue application tools to get the lacquer into the holes. Then, on to cutting out the tiles on the CNC router. So here they are. As you can see, you can make these dominoes from just about any kind of stock. And you can even be a bit creative as you're making your own sets. If you're going to use a CNC router like this one from Next Wave Automation, you're going to be able to just go to town. But if you don't have a CNC, you can still buy templates from Rockler Woodworking and Hardware and drill them out the old-fashioned way. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Maybe you learned a couple of things. I'm Rob Johnstone from Woodworkers Journal. Keep on making sawdust.